Okay, hello, this is Dr. Janes, and um, today I'm dealing with more annoying computer issues. This is uh, Kaden Live, and um, I really like Kaden Live. It's free, and um, it's uh, very powerful. Of course, uh, powerful programs. There's a learning curve. There's uh, lots of things you can mess up on them. And uh, <clears throat> one thing that's a little bit annoying about Kaden Live, and I guess it's a blessing if you like that, but it remembers whenever you change the settings, and then when you load it back up and try to do a different video, it um, it might keep those settings. Maybe you don't want them. Maybe it changed them automatically, and you don't know um, how it did it, and so you don't know how to reset it. So I was I was making some. Um, uh, politically, I have a bunch of different playlists. I was making a politically correct video to talk about this uh, coronavirus uh, communist attack and uh, what I think is going on there. And um, I was using a bunch of fancy graphics and stuff like that, more than I usually use. And I think it did something. Let, let's take a look here. So I, I tried to make a video afterwards, and it's putting this black border around the outside. It's so annoying. And so uh, I suspected it was because of some, it set the video, uh, basically I made a virus that was a green screen and I made it very big. And um, I was using that in Caden Live. And after I did that, it, um, it resized. Let's take a look. I have a couple different things. I'm trying to troubleshoot this. It resized my uh, title clip. So if I clip on the title clip to to um, to uh, try to edit it, it, it's it's a different aspect ratio and it's bigger than it used to be, and um, so I uh, was trying to figure out how to fix this video. So I rendered it. And it came out with that border like we saw here. I'll take a look at that border again. video still up maybe okay so it's got a border there okay it's an annoying border so let's uh, so what I did is I loaded it into Kaden live and this is not a great fix but uh, it is a way to fix it is um, so I, I just loaded that that rendered clip into Kaden live and then I went to uh, uh, I'm just going to show you how I got this It's under crop and transform for edge crop so I double click on the video double click on that and then it brings up this uh, this uh, edge crop tool under here see if I click off of it, it's gone click on that and you can you can crop the pixels but but the thing about it is you you can't tell in the uh, editing screen how much you've cropped it, you, can, you can only tell once you um, once you render it so I just guessed at 50 pixels on the left bottom and right and so that gave me here when I re-rendered it it gave me this guy here and so it did get rid of the uh, the bar on the bottom it didn't get rid of completely these ones on the side and so I don't know if it's if Caden Live is still adding those on because it's not the right aspect ratio or um, Maybe, you know, I, when I put the, uh, I, I was putting some writing and it was writing it up here, so I didn't want to crop the top. So, um, that is kind of a way to fix it, but it's not really a great way. So I wanted to troubleshoot and fi find out what happened in Caden Live and why it's doing that. And so my first step at troubleshooting was, um, so here's our original video clip, and Here's the. Uh, I was thinking maybe it changed the size of the title screens, and so I. Um, there's a handy tool here. If you click on that, it makes any video in that line uh, blank. So see if you come here, the video is gone. The the uh, this part of the video is gone. So if I un uh, unclick it, it comes back. So this is a text part up here. So I I can get rid of the text part, and so if the problem's in the text part, then. Um, maybe I can get rid of the issue by uh, just eliminating that and so I tried eliminating that and it just re-rendering it and it's the problem still didn't go away and so maybe 
Maybe it's in this part. Maybe I'll... Well, you know what? I, I have some um, title screen here, too. Let's, let's do this. I'll get rid of all title screens and do a third rendering and see if... Uh, see if that will get fix the problem and then I can go back in maybe and if this fixes it because I, I did have a title screen in the uh, center part down here let's try this DDD and we'll just do another rendering and see if I eliminate all the title screens and do a render if that will get rid of that annoying border and then at least we'll uh, have narrowed it down to it's an issue with the uh, resizing of the title screen. Okay, so let me let that chug away. And um, we will come back later and see how that comes out. Okay. Okay, so it looks like the rendering just finished, and we'll try playing that video. And, okay. So I took out the title screen, so there's nothing there. But it looks like the border is still around here. So just getting rid of uh, the um, the uh, text uh, or title screens doesn't seem to fix the problem. So it must have changed some parameter in Kaden. And so I'll have to do some research and figure out what the heck is going on there. Because this is so annoying having this border on here. Okay. Anyway, so let me look into that and hopefully we'll find a solution soon. Okay. Okay, so what I did to test out what's going on here is I just took a just a short video clip and I um, put it in here into Kaden Live and I rendered it and there shouldn't be any border around it. And so then I uh, call it test 1AAA, and here, I just rendered that, nothing else in Kaden Live, and it's putting a border around it still. So it has somehow changed um, the format of Kaden, and it's putting this permanent border around it. And so I'm going to have to figure out exactly why it did that, and um, see if I can get rid of that border. So I'm going to continue to work on this. Okay. Okay, so I spent most of the morning fiddling around with different parameters on this thing, and uh, I think I might have found something that fixed this. So I'll just undo it. I already undid it, and I'll redo it. So if we go to Projects, and um, we go down to Project Settings down here, and it was set at like a DVD PAL or a DVD NTS. I tried both of those, and it didn't work. So um, I went down here and I changed it to a widescreen NTS and then uh, hit OK. And then it said it wanted me to, uh, said that um, uh, these, these changes can't be undone. So I, I did it anyway and I deleted my clips and reloaded them. OK. And then I re rendered it. And uh, let's let's just take a look at the rendering here. So this is the latest rendering, and that's what the video looks like. Oh, okay. And I think what was happening is it was putting bars on the top and the bottom because you could kind of get rid of those bars. Let's let's put this here. See if you uh, didn't do full screen. You kind of skew G this around. You can get rid of the sidebars, but the top and bottom bars do not go away. So I think that that was the issue, that is adding top and bottom bars. And remember, this is the original video where it started adding that. And I tried different aspect ratios and other things. And uh, this one kind of worked also. But it's, it seemed like it distorted the image, what I had to do for that one and maybe you can play with that, but I, I don't think that was as good of a fix. As I went into um, Clip Properties, Files, or where was it? Yeah, Clip Properties, and I changed the aspect ratio to like uh, 4 to 3 or something like that, 3 to 4, and it 
I think it distorted the picture when I did that, so I didn't really like that solution. I think the other, the better solution was to go to um, project settings and then change change it to widescreen NTS. At least for my camera, maybe different cameras have different settings. So I, I changed the settings under here and clicked OK for uh, the uh, video settings. That's under the settings tab, and that seemed to. Uh, give a pretty good solution. I think it was pretty much back to normal with this rendering. So I'll have to experiment around some more with it, but it looks like uh, that might have fixed the problem. Let's see what it looks like on full screen. So full screen, it also looks good. Um, anyway, so this may be a solution for the uh, Kaden Live putting this black border around your videos. Okay, so even though I changed the, um, here we went into, uh, what was that, project settings and changed the size of the uh, video in there to get rid of the border, I did notice that there are some other screwy things, this, this might be helpful too, because I add, uh, add title clips, and it's still producing this non-standard size title clip for some reason. It, it uh, created this when I created some graphic stuff. And uh, so I found that you could actually get back to a normal template if you go down to the bottom here. And, uh, okay, this title was created with a different type of frame size. That's exactly what I want. Okay. So maybe using one of these other templates could help to uh, reset some of the parameters. Okay, and get back to a normal sized uh, uh, screen so you're not introducing these uh, bars in the top or the bottom or adding black borders around it. So here's another tip that I found that might be helpful. And anyway, hopefully this helps get rid of your border problems on your Caden Live. And this is Dr. Janes, and thanks for watching.